Question 121. A secret ballot means A. No one knows the voting location until the day of the election. B. No one can accompany you to a polling station. C. No one should look at who you have voted for and how you voted. D. No one knows the list of candidates until the day of the election. Correct answer is C. No one should look at who you have voted for and how you voted. Question 122. A voter information card is A. A document indicating that you are on the voters list and the location of voting. B. A list of candidates running in an election. C. A form that tells you where to vote and who to vote for. D. A document indicating that you have been chosen to vote. Correct answer is A. A document indicating that you are on the voters list and the location of voting. Question 123. According to the Constitution, when does an election have to be held? A. Every two years. B. Within four years of the last election. C. Whenever the Senate decides. D. Every four years following the most recent general election. Correct answer is D. Every four years following the most recent general election. Question 124. After a federal election, how is the government formed? A. The presiding prime minister appoints the new prime minister. B. The queen selects a party to be the party in power. C. The governor general appoints the prime minister. D. The political party with the most elected members becomes the party in power. Correct answer is... The political party with the most elected members becomes the party in power. Question 125. An electoral district is A. The area where elections are held. B. The area where candidates live in. C. The area represented by a member of the House of Commons. D. The area you vote in. Correct answer is See the area represented by a member of the House of Commons. Question 126. By election day, if you are not listed in the National Register of Electors or do not receive a voter information card, it's too late to be added to the voters list. A true. B false. Correct answer is B false. Question 127. By laws are the responsibility of which level of government? A. State. B. Federal. C. Provincial slash territorial. D. Municipal. Correct answer is D. Municipal. Question 128. Currently, which party is Her Majesty's loyal opposition? A Liberal Party of Canada. B Green Party. C Conservative Party of Canada. D New Democratic Party. Correct answer is C Conservative Party of Canada. Question 129. During election time, what is a polling station? A. The place you vote. B. The place candidates give speeches. C. The place candidates debate. D. The place where votes are counted. Correct answer is A. The place you vote. Question 130. How do you mark a federal election ballot? A. Mark an X in the circle beside the name of your chosen candidate. B. Initial beside the name of your chosen candidate. C. Circle the name of your chosen candidate. D. Highlight the name of your chosen candidate. 
correct answer is A. Mark an X in the circle beside the name of your chosen candidate. Question 131. How is a government formed after a federal election? A. The party in power is the party with the most elected representatives. The Prime Minister is appointed by the Queen. B. The party in power is the party with the most elected representatives. The leader of the party becomes the Prime Minister. C. The Queen chooses both the party in power and the Prime Minister. D. The Governor General appoints the Prime Minister and the party in power. Correct answer is B. The party in power is the party with the most elected representatives. The leader of the party becomes the Prime Minister. Question 132. How is the Prime Minister decided? A. Appointed by the Queen. B. Elected by Canadian citizens. C. The leader of the party in power. D. Elected by members of the parliament. Correct answer is C. The leader of the party in power. Question 133. How many electoral districts are there in Canada? A. 273. B. 308. C. 338. D. 315. Correct answer is C. 338. Question 134. In a federal election, Canadians vote for A. The Premier B. The Head of State C. The Representative in Parliament D. The Representative in the Senate Correct answer is C. The Representative in Parliament Question 135 Name the official federal political parties represented in the House of Commons and their respective leaders. A. Conservative Party, Andrew Scheer, Liberal Party, Justin Trudeau, New Democratic Party, Jagmeet Singh. B. Conservative Party, Stephen Harper, Liberal Party, Michael Ignatioff, Parti Québécois, Jill Duceppe. C. Conservative Party, Stephen Harper, Liberal Party, Michael Ignatioff, Green Party, Elizabeth May. D. Conservative Party, Rona Ambrose, Liberal Party, Justin Trudeau, New Democratic Party, Tom Mulcair. Correct answer is A. Conservative Party, Andrew Scheer, Liberal Party, Justin Trudeau, New Democratic Party, Jagmeet Singh. Question 136. No one including family members, your employer, or union representative has the right to insist that you tell them how you voted. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Question 137. The political parties that are not in power are known as a. The other parties. B. The out of power parties. C. The opposing parties. D. The opposition parties. Correct answer is D. The opposition parties. Question 138. The role of the opposition parties is A. To support the Prime Minister. B. To vote against all bills. C. To hold a protest against government proposals. D. To oppose or to improve government proposals. Correct answer is D. To oppose or to improve government proposals. Question 139. Voting by secret ballot means a. No one can look at who you have voted for. B. No one can vote. C. The voter should not tell anyone who he slash she is voting for. D. The voting location is a secret. 
Correct answer is A. No one can look at who you have voted for. Question 140. What are the three requirements to vote in a federal election? A. A Canadian resident, at least 21 years old, and on the voters list. B. A Canadian citizen, at least 18 years old, and on the voters list. C. A Canadian citizen, at least 16 years old, and on the voters list. D. Canadian citizen, have never committed a crime, male. Correct answer is Be a Canadian citizen, at least 18 years old, and on the voters list. Question 141 What information does the Register of Electors contain? A. A list of all Canadian citizens. B. A list of all Canadian citizens who are willing to vote. C. A list of everyone in Canada. D. A list of all Canadian citizens who are qualified to vote. Correct answer is D. A list of all Canadian citizens who are qualified to vote. Question 142. What is indicated on a federal election ballot? A. Your personal information, including name and address. B. The list of candidates for Prime Minister. C. The list of political parties in Canada. D. The list of candidates in your electoral district. Correct answer is D. The list of candidates in your electoral district. Question 143. What is listed on an election ballot? A. The voters list. B. All the political parties in Canada. C. Instructions for who to vote for. D. The candidates in your electoral district. Correct answer is D. The candidates in your electoral district. Question 144. What is one of the main duties of a political party? A. Plan for events and celebrations. B. Draft bills as directed by the Queen. C. Propose ideas on how the government should run. D. Support the Prime Minister's ideas. Correct answer is C. Propose ideas on how the government should run. Question 145. What is the fixed election date of the federal election in Canada? A. There is no fixed date. B. The third Monday in October every four years after the most recent election. C. January 31st every five years after the last election. D. March 31 STH every four years after the most recent election. Correct answer is B. The third Monday in October every four years after the most recent election. Question 146. What is the meaning of party in power? A. The political party with the most elected representatives. B. The political party responsible for power generation. C. The political party responsible for nuclear power. D. The political party with the most members. Correct answer is A. The political party with the most elected representatives. Question 147. What should you do if you don't receive a voter's card? A. Call your parliament representative. B. Contact Elections Canada. C. Assume you are on the voters list since you are a Canadian. D. Call the police. Correct answer is B. Contact Elections Canada. Question 148. When must federal elections be held? A. On the third Monday in October every four years following the most recent general election. B. On the third Monday in September every four years following the most recent general election. 
See on the first Monday in October every four years following the most recent general election. D on the third Wednesday in September every four years following the most recent general election. Correct answer is A on the third Monday in October every four years following the most recent general election. Question 149. When would it constitute a minority government? A. The party in power holds more than half of the seats in the House of Commons. B. The party in power holds less than half of the seats in the House of Commons. C. The party in power holds more than half of the seats in the Senate. D. The party in power holds less than half of the seats in the Senate. Correct answer is B. The party in power holds less than half of the seats in the House of Commons. Question 150. Which party is Her Majesty's loyal opposition? A. The party the Queen chooses. B. The party with the least elected representatives. C. The party with the second most elected representatives. D. The party in power. Correct answer is C. The party with the second most elected representatives. Question 151. Which party is the federal party in power? A. Liberal Party of Canada. B. New Democratic Party. C. Bloc Québécois. D. Conservative Party of Canada. Correct answer is A. Liberal Party of Canada. Question 152. Who has the right to run as a candidate in federal elections? A. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 21 years old. B. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 18 years old. C. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 25 years old. D. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 50 years old. Correct answer is B. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 18 years old. Question 153. Who is Canada's Prime Minister? A. Jill Joseph. B. Jack Layton. C. Stephen Harper. D. Justin Trudeau. Correct answer is D. Justin Trudeau. Question 154. Who is the leader of the Federal Opposition Party? A. Rona Ambrose B. Stephen Harper C. Andrew Shear D. Thomas Mulcair Correct answer is C. Andrew Shear Question 155 Who's in charge of First Nation Reserves? A. Band Chiefs B. Mayors C. Chief Minister D. Minister of Aboriginal Peoples Correct answer is A. Band Chiefs Question 156 What principles out of the following is Canada's constitution based on? A. Peace, order, and good government B. War, order, and good government C. Multiculturalism, peace, and order. D. Mobility rights, order, and good government. Correct answer is A. Peace, order, and good government. Question 157. To which of the following communities do the majority of Canadians belong? A. Muslims. B. Hindu. C. Christians. D. Jewish. Correct answer is C. Christians. Question 158. Which of the following were the first four provinces in the Canadian Confederation? A. New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Alberta, and Manitoba. 
be New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Province of Canada, Ontario and Quebec. C. Manitoba, Nova Scotia, and Province of Canada, Ontario and Quebec. D. New Brunswick, Newfoundland, and Province of Canada, Ontario and Quebec. Correct answer is B. New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Province of Canada, Ontario and Quebec. Question 159. What is the significance of hockey? A. None of the above. B. It is a national summer sport. C. It is the most popular spectator sport in Canada and is also its national winter sport. D. Canada won a gold medal in 2008 S Olympics in this event. Correct answer is C. It is the most popular spectator sport in Canada and is also its national winter sport. Question 160. What are the three branches of the Canadian government? A. Executive, Senate, and Judicial. B. Executive, Legislative, and Monarchy. C. Executive, Police, and Judicial. D. Executive, Legislative, and Judicial. Correct answer is D. Executive, Legislative, and Judicial.